We are searching for happiness, for contentment, for goodness, for success. Guess who is the owner of all those? Who is the owner of all those? Allah. Allah. So if you'd like all of that, primarily you start off by knocking the right door. If you happen to search for happiness, goodness, contentment, success, money. Who doesn't want money? Everyone wants money, right? Who wants money? Put up your hand. MashaAllah, those who don't come hand it over here. ELM needs it, MashaAllah. ELM needs it. Barakallah feekum. They are doing some good work, Alhamdulillah. So everyone wants wealth, everyone wants success, everyone wants good health, everyone wants everything nice. All those nice things, the owner of them is Allah. Develop your relationship with Allah. Develop your relationship with the word of Allah. It's the first step to your success. And it's the first step towards a happy family. You need to develop a relationship with Allah. So what happens? I'm always inspired by a specific hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. I mentioned it in this masjid. And I'm going to repeat it again today. So, that beautiful narration is where the Prophet ﷺ tells us something after he was asked a question by his companions. They asked him a question. Very powerful question. Before I get to the question, what's your aim? What's my aim? Ultimately, where do we want to reach? Can you tell me? Jannatul Firdaus. It means paradise. Ultimately, I want to reach paradise. I, I tell you something. Moments ago, I was in North London. I wanted to reach this masjid. What did I do? What do you think I did? I was driving, by the way. What do you think I did? Do I know London? GPS. The brother says GPS. He is 100% spot on. It's called Tom. Tom. But there's a lady speaking. I don't know. <laughs> Confusing, right? My brothers and sisters, that's exactly what I did. East. As soon as I said East London, one of the first drop downs was East London Mosque. Wow, it goes to show how many people actually come to the masjid. It's a good thing. The first drop down is East London Mosque. And I clicked on it and it started showing me, right? When I missed one turn, it showed me what to do. You need to do this and now go back and come back onto this road. You know why? I'm trying to get somewhere. I made a little mistake. Perhaps we were talking. It was quite busy. The traffic was a lot at this time of the day. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, we have something more serious than a navigation system that will take you straight to your ultimate goal, which you all said is paradise. And that is the word of Allah. Allah tells you turn left, you turn left, you turn right, you turn right, go straight, you go straight, stop, you stop, go back, you go back, make a U-turn, you make a U-turn. But the problem is we don't turn on that GPS. The GPS is such that it actually tells you speed trap ahead. Wow, subhanallah. You know what's going on. You want that happiness. There is a tom-tom showing you the happiness. In fact, we cannot even call it a tom-tom. We need to call it words of guidance. There is a direction straight. It will lead you to a specific goal. And you know that. But the problem is, you know, we're too engrossed in the world. Let me tell you, there is a balance between this dunya and the akhirah. This worldly life and the hereafter. There is a beautiful balance. Those who tell you to divorce yourself from this world have not understood the world. And those who tell you to enjoy it to the degree that you've forgotten where you're going to go have also not understood the reality of the world. Allah says when he speaks about a dua, a prayer, a supplication that is to be made. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ أُولَئِكَ لَهُمْ نَصِيبٌ مِمَّا كَسَبُوا وَاللَّهُ سَرِيعُ الْحِسَابِ from among the people, they are those whom when they call out to Allah, they strike the balance between this life and the next life. So they say, oh our Lord, grant us goodness in this world. That's the beginning of the dua. Amazing, you know, man is such that we want the goodness of this world first. And Allah says, we will give you the goodness of this world. We will give you the goodness of this world. Not necessarily what you think is your goodness. I was speaking to some brothers today. And I want to ask all of you within yourselves to look within yourselves and see. Do you know that if sometimes if the plan you had for your own life was granted exactly as you wanted it, perhaps 
you would not have seen the, the successes that you have seen as a result of doors being closed by Allah for you. You need to be happy. Where are you today? Sometimes you're sitting, you've got your own business and you're doing well. But you were fired from a job just three years ago. Subhanallah. That was not firing. That was Allah closing the door to say, I think you can do better on your own. Subhanallah. And we got depressed. I lost the job. And Allah says, why are you getting depressed? Pick up the pieces. It was not in your hands or it might have been to a small degree according to our allowance. And you know what? That would be something positive. عَجَبًا لِأَمْرِ الْمُؤْمِنِ فَإِنَّ أَمْرَهُ كُلَّهُ لَهُ خَيْرٍ the affairs of a true believer are amazing. They can never be negative. They are always good. When something happens your way, say Alhamdulillah. When it doesn't happen your way, say Alhamdulillah twice because it's happened the way Allah wanted it anyway.